Hello, Roll Mithril here once again, getting back to Secret of Evermore. And, uh, yeah, I had to do a good bit of research for this area. Crustacean Nobilia. I feel like it's the part of the game I remember the least about from the last time I sat down and played through the entire thing. Which, to give you some idea, I was still in high school at the time. I'm almost 40 now. So, yeah, that was over half my life ago. I'm old. You're new to Crustacea, aren't you? The people in this town look mean, but we're not that bad. But it's every rogue for himself on the other side of the river. Good to know. So the first thing I wanted to look into was the armor situation. Turns out, I think I do want to buy most of this. We want the Serpent Bracer, the Bronze Helmet, and the Bronze Armor. We don't want the Spiked Collar, though. So let's go ahead and equip all this. The Bronze Armor is a good upgrade, as is the Serpent Bracer, and the Bronze Helmet. Lovely. The next thing to look into is a message that I missed. I was too distracted by this one that I can't carry more nectar, but eagle-eyed viewers did spot another message while I was in here. I think you just have to stay in here long enough. Psst, over here. Over here, near the big box. You can't actually walk behind the boxes yourself, but once you've gotten that message, this guy shows up as soon as you approach. Hello, my friend, have I got a deal for you. I can offer you this rare and powerful amulet of annihilation for 10,000 jewels. Is it a deal? Well, we have a bit of a problem. Sorry, you don't have enough cash to make the deal. Thankfully, it's not a one-time offer. The Amulet of Annihilation is a consumable of a sort. And as long as you don't have one in your possession, even if you have had one but then used it up, he will show up again. However, we need a lot more jewels. So yeah, this is kind of going to be a setup video because I'm going to have to do some grinding for that. There are definitely reasons I want it. Pallet Swap Spiders! Also, the guys with the anchors, they're no longer friendly as soon as you set foot out of town. There we go. Now I just need to deal with you. There. However, there's not actually anything we can do in here. Everything just dead ends. But we can see some of the sorts of enemies that we're up against here. So the reason I want to buy the Amulet of Annihilation isn't so much the amulet itself. If you buy from that guy, and that is a steep asking price, he actually throws in some trinkets for the first three that you buy. And no, this is not our friend that was just trying to sell us an amulet. This guy too is unfriendly. They are, however, worth a good bit of jewels. And no, don't worry, I'm not grinding for this on camera. That's going to be after I finish this video. Coming over this way, we have another of these mysterious spots. But yeah, the trinkets that you get from buying those amulets they have some inherent powers that are rather nice. So, I definitely want to buy at least one for now. We'll get the others later on. I just kind of want to get a little bit of a head start on this. Basically, the grind session is going to be not only for jewels, but I'll also be working on alchemy formulas, because yes, You are annoyingly evasive. There. So now we go through here. There's a lot of these guys.
the piercing power of the level 2 charge at work. Very nice. There. Something about this feels wrong. Okay, Nectar. Can't carry any more of that. Hello, friend. Glad to see you survived the big washout. It's our good friend Blimp. And he has Salabog's head mounted as a trophy. I kind of like that detail. Likewise, my dog and I used your boat to float downstream and over the falls. Ah, well done. I escaped by floating down the swamp flowers full of the essence of mud pepper. Have you seen this world? It's much different from the world on the plateau. I've explored a little, but I've mainly been looking for Mike. I wonder where he could be, or what he could be. Meanwhile... A dog! Yes, I've said the words. So, yeah, Mike's a bit different now. Kind of a sleek greyhound look. Hello, my wife and myself take care of cleaning and maintaining the palace. Fix this, fix that, never a moment's rest. Sacred dogs, I don't believe in them. Hey, a doggo just appeared out of a fountain. You show some respect! So, yeah, we can run around here a bit. There's not really much for us to do other than talk to the old people maintaining the place. Hi there. Don't track any dirt into the palace. It's my job to keep the place clean. My husband complains about all the work around here. Truth is, I do the work and he does the complaining. I don't think there's anything else for us to do out here. I think she just repeats that last message if you talk to her again. Or completely ignores us. Yeah, same message. For some reason, she didn't want to talk to me on the stairs. You called on me, sir? Yes, Pompolonius. I'm ready to take my next step toward greatness. As my advisor, you can help me obtain the overwhelming power that I desire. I must have the diamond eyes of the dog statue. But sir, the people will not support your actions unless we receive a sign from the sacred dog. I hate to burst your bubble, Pomp, but the sacred dog is a myth. We can't expect for some mystic creature to simply slide into the palace. Well, that sounds like a cue if ever I've heard one. Baru? Uh, sir, we have a visitor. Dog interlude over. Well, friend. It's time for you to find your pooch and for me to continue my studies of things lighter than air. I hear that there's a great city on the other side of the desert, to the north. You might have luck looking for your dog there. You can cross over to the desert on my new bridge. Before you take off, I want you to have this crush formula. You can mix limestone and wax for enemy crushing power. So we have a new formula, and a new reagent that we don't have yet. Would you like to purchase ingredients? We may as well. Because yeah, I'm going to be working to level this up during the grind session. So that's all the limestone I can carry for now. Also notable, he sells bone, which we don't need yet, and mud pepper, which is no longer a glorified key item. We can now stock it like any other reagent. Now that we don't have to deal with the whole thing of going through the volcano and they really want you to only have one pepper at a time. So, good to know. Also, what you got in here? Wax and ash. Was it the speed formula that I, that I was using to get rid of wax? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So now to show what the crush formula does. 
pretty fun. From what I've read, it's a formula that gets really powerful really fast if you work on leveling it up. So, seems worthwhile. And hey, since I need jewels anyway, I may as well. Now it will be a bit of an offset grinding for jewels while also having to buy reagents, but it seems worthwhile to me. May as well work on it a little bit here, and speed is worn off. A note about the speed formula, apparently people have patched the ROM. They do have uh, patches available for it to fix some things that were kind of glitched in the original game, including the duration of the speed formula. I'm not going to apply the patch, though, just because this is what was originally in the game, so we're going to deal with it. Welcome to the Desert of Doom. So, this ferryman here. Hey, Sparky. Do you want a lift? Sure. Right across the hot desert will cost you one amulet of annihilation. This is what you use those for. Unfortunately, I don't have one. Come back when you got one, Junior. I'll give you a ride then. You don't actually have to ride, though. You can just run through the desert on your own. However, you will take constant heat damage. But there are some things we do want to do here in the desert. From the first oasis, which, by the way, will heal you, immediately start going northeast until you get to this oasis, and then start heading due north. It'll take a while to get where you're going, but just keep heading on this path. Along the way, you'll have to deal with sand spiders and incredibly aggressive homing tumbleweeds. Yeah, that's a thing. If you keep going north, you end up at this oasis, and you find an alchemist. It's a hot one today, isn't it? And the bad bugs are out, too. What you need is some help, and I'm prepared to give it to you. This is a formula called Sting. It'll give you the edge over nasty critters. We have the formula. However, not enough room to equip all of the formulas we have. We'd have to get rid of one. Unfortunately, we're just not going to equip Sting for now. It needs two water and one vinegar which we don't have yet, and nobody is selling yet. This guy doesn't sell ingredients. So there's no point to us equipping it just yet. I just wanted to go ahead and get the formula because this is an easy one to overlook because desert travel. Hope that you're using your alchemy formula as well. So yeah, you can equip or unequip your spells here, but that's it. We're not done here yet though. I'm also going to show a trick here. If you set up a level 2 charge, you can basically run infinitely as long as you don't get hit by enemies. Just keep holding down the charge button along with the run button, and it'll keep your stamina just endlessly charged. That helps for crossing the desert. Now, as long as you're not standing in an oasis, you will take constant damage. 5 flat damage, I think every 3.5 seconds or so? It adds up. However, standing in an oasis, you will refill your health. The most aggressive tumbleweeds. But yes, like I said, you don't actually have to pay the ferryman to cross the desert. As long as you keep running to the north, you will eventually get where you need to go. It takes a while, though. The fun part is, we're not even really ready to progress. There is a definite reason, though, that I am doing this. Let's go ahead and refill at the Oasis. Now, technically, there is kind of a glitchy way to get to the end of the desert quickly, but I've never really understood how it works. They call it the wormhole glitch. It's not an intended thing. But here we are. We have made it all the way to the end. Also, a new enemy type. Bone Buzzard, I think that's called. Yeah, Bone Buzzard. Crush! Takes them out pretty well. So, this is the gate to Nobilia, but we're not ready to go in there just yet. 
Instead, there's something out here that I want to do. If you stand in this area, you start getting swirled around, and you will take extra damage. Also, the enemies will not leave you alone. Let's crush a tumbleweed. So, now that we're being left alone, you do take higher damage while you're in this little swirly pit of doom. One damage every one and a half seconds. In addition to the normal damage just from being out in the desert. However, there's a reason we want to stand here. For a rather extended period. This is kind of a guy dang it thing. I don't think anything actually tells you about this. In order to endure this, you are going to want healing powers, either a bunch of healing items, or enough reagents to keep using the heal spell. Whoa, getting dizzy. Joel will have three such messages that he'll chime in with along the way. So yes, having the healing spell, that definitely works, and having it leveled up is a very good thing. Spinning, Joel. Spinning. Yeah, I'm probably just going to cut to the other messages. We're going to be here a while. I want to say in grand total you have to be here for about three and a half minutes. And, well, I just don't have enough conversational topics to carry that. Not while we're just sitting here spinning around. Spin, 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 wee. Although we have actually been through two of the messages so far. So hey, how you doing? How's your day been going? That's fascinating. Round and round and round we go. When it stops, uh, hopefully in about like a minute 30 or so. Because I know it's only 30 seconds wait past the third message. We have to be getting close to it. Let's go ahead and heal again. Gonna... gonna hurl! So yeah, about 30 seconds to go. But yes, I'm quite sure I did not know about this. I don't think anybody in the game actually tells you about this. Or if they do, again, I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've played this entire game. In this portion, I just really don't remember much about it. And there we go. Hey, where am I? At this point, walk to the right. Received rice and spice. Delicious. And, yeah, that's all this is. If we look in our item pouch, we have 99 rice and 99 spice. These are trade goods, and they're going to be used for something coming up. The infamous Nobilia trade market. Yeah, this is what I really had to research, because... There's a lot that we need to get there, and a lot that can go wrong if you don't do things just right. You're on a time limit while you're shopping. So, yeah. I think I know what I need to do. And oddly, as big as those numbers may look, that's not as big of a head start as it might look like. But it will help. Also, for those curious, here in the item pouch, this is where we can also see the jaguar ring that we got. Lovely. And, well, now we need to get back out of here. So, back we go. Because, yes, I need to get back to that first area, and save, and be prepared to do a bunch of grinding. I need jewels. Lots and lots of jewels. And I must train in the way of the Stone Fist. 
And sadly, not in the way of bees, because, well, we don't have vinegar. It is kind of weird that they give you that formula, and it's not a plot important formula like levitate, but they don't give you the stuff to actually use it yet. Spiders everywhere. At this rate, I probably should have stopped at that oasis that I saw earlier. Surely we have to run across another one, though. Or just make our way out of the desert, one of the two. The infinite running trick definitely helps. So, I'm glad I know about that. And for those wondering, yes, the sand spiders can still poison you just like the Widowmakers. So that's fun. And we made it out of the desert. Proof of concept. Not all of this damage was caused by desert heat, but standing in the, oas the oasis, it will heal all of it. So, that's nice to know. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and save. Because yes, I have a lot of work to do. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well. It's time to crush stuff! A lot? And get jewels!